What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at 10 hidden features on the 2024 Chevy Silverado. Now the model we're looking at is a high country, so all these features might not be available on every single model, just something to keep in mind, but some of these will be available across the board. Now our first features are here on the key fob. This has a ton of awesome functionality. You can lock, unlock, remote start, turn on your hazards, all that kind of stuff, but it's got a couple hidden features up its sleeve as well. First and foremost, you can press and hold the unlock button and drop all of your windows. Just like that, nice and simple. Unfortunately, you can't put them back up for safety reasons, but that's a topic for another day. But in addition to that, number two, you can actually control your side mirrors with your key fob as well. So if you press and hold the lock button, they're gonna go ahead and fold right in for you. And if you press and hold the unlock button, they're gonna unfold for you. Now, if either of these functions are not working, they're probably just disabled inside your settings menu. Here's how you fix it. Go into settings, go into vehicle, go to remote, lock, unlock, and start, and then you've got remote window operation. Check that box, and you should be able to do this now. All right, so if this feature isn't working for you guys, go into comfort and convenience in the settings menu and turn on remote mirror folding. Check that, and then it should work no problem. And then for number three, there's three different ways that you can control your tailgate. First and foremost, you have a button right here. This will go ahead and drop your power tailgate, as well as raise it right back up just by hitting the button again. In addition, you can use your key fob. You can double tap the button here to drop the tailgate. But you do have one more way you can manipulate the tailgate. And that is by using this button right here. You can actually push this, it will beep, and it closes that tailgate right up. And then if you wanna drop it again, you can just press and hold, and it will go ahead and drop. Super convenient. All right, now that we're inside the cabin, let's take a look at a bunch more hidden features. First one that I really like is if we turn the vehicle on, you can get access to this 12.3 inch digital display cluster. Love this thing, it's beautiful, but its default appearance is not my favorite. But don't worry, you can completely customize this. So if we use our navigation controls here on the right side, you can scroll over to settings and go to display layout. Then you get four different options, classic, progressive, digital, and clean. So here's a quick look at all of these different layouts. And you get some nice little animations between them. But my favorite by far is the clean option. And then you can also go into options and change what info you see on your left side and what info you see on the right side and then what is on your lower gauges. But you can only do this when you don't do clean, which is fine. But you get full customization on what you see on these displays. So much customization. I wish the Bolt had this. You guys know I have a Bolt. Wish it had this option, but unfortunately we don't. But here in the Silverado, with this 12.3 inch digital display, you have that and it's awesome. So you can always find so many hidden features inside the settings, but I wanna tell you guys about some of my favorite ones. If we hop on into remote lock, unlock and start, there's tons of different settings we're gonna talk about, but you have something called remote start auto cooled and ventilated seats and remote start auto heated seats. So you can check both of these on, mine were off by default, but if you check these on, then when it's hot outside and you remote start your vehicle, it's gonna automatically cool your ventilated seats and when it's cold outside, it's gonna automatically heat your seats for you when you use remote start. So a super nice convenience feature, something you don't even have to worry about, just enable it. It'll detect the temperature and heat and cool your seats for you automatically. Game changer. Again, mine was off by default, but just head on over to the menu system, go to remote lock, unlock and start, and check those two options. In the same remote lock, unlock and start menu, you have passive door unlock and passive door lock. So what the passive door unlock and lock is, is the button, the keyless access on the outside of the door panels. So in this system, you can go in and customize which doors you want to lock and unlock when you use the keyless access system. So if you're an individual and you only want your driver's door to unlock for safety purposes, you don't want anyone kind of lurking around your vehicle trying to you know, hop in when you unlock the door, maybe set it to driver only. But if you're in a family and you need all the doors to unlock, you can switch it to all doors and you can also turn passive door unlock off altogether. In the similar vein, you can go to passive door lock and do the inverse. So you can hit the button on the outside, it will lock the doors. You can have it turned off so it doesn't lock. You can have it turned on so it does lock and then you can have it turned on with a horn beep so you know that it locked. Another feature that we have here in the settings is kind of a controversial one in my opinion. Now again, I work at a dealership so I drive these kind of cars a lot and sometimes when you're driving them super slowly, mind you, around the lots, this specific feature is a little bit annoying but I wanted you guys to know about it in case you wanna enable it for safety reasons if you have kids driving or you know it's more of a family car, this could really come in clutch. 
So under vehicle settings, you have something called buckle to drive, and it is exactly what it sounds like. And that's why I have this buckled in right here behind me. If I need to move this a little bit, I can, but what it actually does when it's enabled is when it's turned on and I've got the car in drive here and I've got my seatbelt unbuckled, it will not let me shift, not to neutral, not to reverse, nothing. It does not let you move at all until you reach over, buckle that seat in, and boom, now you have access to put it in reverse drive, whatever you wanna do. So super nice feature to turn on if you're worried about your teen not buckling their seat belts or something along those lines. The only downside is if they know where to find this in the menu, they can disable it, but don't tell them. All right, for number eight, we have a two-parter and it's hidden inside the comfort and convenience menu. So first is reverse tilt mirror. Now again, very self-explanatory, it's exactly what it sounds like. If you have this feature enabled and you put your vehicle in reverse, depending on what you set as your settings, the side mirrors will tilt down to give you a better view of what is on either side of your vehicle. Now, this can be customized. So if you want it to be driver side only, driver and passenger, or have it off altogether, you can do that, it's your choice. And then of course, you can enable your rain sensing windshield wipers, that's found in this menu as well. So if your windshield wipers aren't turning on automatically and you have rain sensing, that's how you turn it on right there. Okay, for number nine, check this out. You guys may have seen this little wood grain panel right here and thought, hey, that's where my airbag is. Wrong, your airbag is actually up above that right here. That is a storage compartment and it's super secret. So how you open that is right under this vent right here, there's a black button. You may have missed it, you may have been looking at it all along and just not knowing what it was, not knowing you could push it, but you can, boom, push that right there and this thing pops open and you have a little bit of extra storage right above your glove box right there. So super nice, you could put you know, paperwork in there, you could put snacks, you could put charging cables, you could put anything you want in that little storage compartment. I think it even fits a phone. Yep, my phone fits in there, no problem. Boom, seal that right up. Extra secret storage right there behind that faux wood grain. Now let's hop to the back seat and check out our final hidden feature. All right, so hopping in the back seat here for number 10, you have these hidden storage compartments right here behind your seats. And if this little tab was, you know, tucked away like something like that, you'd have absolutely no idea that these could open up, but they can using that little tab. So you maybe wanna keep that out, but just boom, opens just like that. And you have a decent amount of storage space. You could put like, I don't know, um, jumper cables or tie downs and things like that all back here and you have them on this seat as well as over here on this seat right there. Super nice. So thanks so much for watching guys. Drop a like on the video if you loved it. Tell me in the comments down below, what is your favorite hidden feature that we talked about or did I miss one that is your favorite? Let's have a conversation down in the comments and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to be among the first to see every single new video the second I hit publish. We'll see you in the next one.